Mm-hmm. So, you know, will, will Jalen Hurts um, survive and thrive? Remains to be seen. Mm-hmm. Could he get a, how long or how short is his leash? You know, um, it, you know, Hugh brought up a very interesting point. You know, he, you know, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh gave me something to think about, and I, I can't get this out of my mind. It keeps resonating in my mind. I can, I can tell you, I've known Hugh Douglas for yeah. – you've known him a little bit longer than I am. Yeah, right. I have him on the show every week. Right. Uh, he's, never, he's never given me anything to think about. No? <laughs> well, then think about this. <laughs> Go for he, it. He kept reiterating, Gardner Minshew was not brought in here by accident. Yeah, yeah. Gardner Minshew has history with Nick Sirianni. Jalen Hurts, uh, Sirianni inherited – is Jalen Hurts Sirianni's guy? Don't know. They've said all the right things. Great leader, great student of the game, loves football. How many players have we heard uh, mention in that breath but don't turn out to be exactly what the coaching staff or teammates need him to be? Right. I, I hope Jalen Hurts hits the ground running and does great things in 2021. But, you know, the, the more you said that, the more it, it just kept resonating in my mind over and over. That's an interesting thought that Gardner Minshew, who I don't think is a, a, a franchise quarterback, I don't think is a regular starting quarterback in the National Football League, but he has had some interesting moments. Um, and if you put him in the right system, you know, he could flourish in the right system. And behind this Eagles offensive line, if they stay healthy, he could flourish in this offense, you know. Um, so that's going to be interesting to watch. I mean, this young man, Jalen Hurts, has had a lot of pressure hovering over him since back in May when all these rumors started about the Eagles pursuing Deshaun Watson. Um, you know, think about that. A young quarterback who's got four games of experience under his belt. He's trying to impress the new coaching staff to win the starting job. And he's got to hear this all summer about the Eagles trying to make a trade. What must be going through his mind in terms of, so they really don't believe in me? Is that is that what, I, is what, is that what I'm hearing here? They don't believe in me? And then he's got to deal with a very rabid, passionate, knowledgeable, insightful fan base as well. That could be hot one minute, cold the next. You know how it is here. You know, you're from here. You know how it goes. <laughs> I, I get so, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it. That's a lot of pressure to put on the shoulders of a young man who's, what, 23, 24 years old? Yeah, 23. That's a lot of pressure. Uh, so let me ask, because you've encountered so many athletes. These types of athletes really amaze me. Yeah. The I always call, I refer to them as whatever dudes. Okay. And they're they're not just dudes, but they're whatever dudes. It's like, uh, hey, you know, we're gonna trade for Deshaun Watson. All this all this talk is out there. All the speculation is out there. What do you think about it? Whatever, dude. Whatever. It doesn't phase them, and it's not that they don't care. Right. It's just that they don't let it get to them. They're yeah. only worried yeah. about things that affect them directly. Right. Only controlling what they can control. And Jalen Hurts, to me, with how he's handled everything to this point, right. he seems to be a whatever dude type of guy. I, I agree, and I think he has he has to take that approach. I mean, he's going to do what he's do to the, what he does to the best of his ability. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. And all you can say is, "Okay, I gave him my best shot," you know. And if he spends more time looking over his shoulder, he's not going to be able to handle the task ahead of him to the best of his ability. So if I'm this young man. And, you know, I think when we were 23, 24, well, we were both knuckleheads back then, but that's another story. <laughs> Did we but ever grow you, up? I, I haven't. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, my family still asks me, what is wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I can't figure it out. Just accept me. Embrace me for who I am <laughs> exactly. and what I am. That's all, you know, yeah, that works for about two minutes. Right, right, know? right. <laughs> but, you know, uh, um, that's a lot of pressure uh, to put on any young man, especially playing in a national spotlight um week in and week out um and being uh besieged by questions from one of the largest if not lar- um, if not the largest media contingent in the national football league that's a lot to put on a young man's plate um but hopefully he's mature enough to handle everything i've heard about him is he's got an unbelievable maturity and poise and confidence in himself that's all you can have it's the perfect ingredients going into what he's about to go into